within two, four hours to vacate the premises of the General Hospital of Port Harcourt and from the environs of Port Harcourt. Yeah. And by the powers conferred on me by our suffering people, we say give us a chance to live like human beings or we shall remain bound in your selfish throats forever. Yeah. <laughs> you want trouble? <laughs> you will get trouble! <laughs>
Eh? Our elders say, we are begging a witch to stop her witchcraft. And the next morning, she's giving birth to seven babies. All of them female, all of them witches. I'm sorry. I don't see the point of all that. The point, sir, is you broke your promise. You made me look like a fool. In what sense? Until we are transferred to the door for the hospital you talked about. You asked us to move to the IDH. No, 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 no. You chose. We didn't ask you to. You decided for yourselves. Uh, but that's true. Yes. All we did was give options. Go to your home or go to the IDH. All right, all right. We decided. <laughs> so why blame us now for the consequences of your own decision? Did you tell us you were going to stop our feeding? <laughs> Whether you decided for the IDH or for your own. It was obvious that you were going to be on your own, Mr. White. You didn't explain all of that. No, this is, it is implied, the brother. Besides, it's you, right. you never asked for such explanations, did you? No. I trusted too much. <laughs> Trust? Hard God! You talk of trust just when I am becoming an expert in your trust nobody philosophy. It might never happen again. I, I mean, it, explanations. Written down. Black and white. Spelled out. And not holes. I, I, I searched for. You are in business. All man. right, all right. You, are business. you can keep the beds if you wish, but please consider our medical treatment. And do not stop our feeding as well. I thought it was all your fault. Please. Off. We must have something now. Try. Save me from shame. Over to you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that the IDH idea has caused this problem, I thought you want to consider the other matter. Yes. 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 We are proposing a pension thing for everybody. But let's start it. Uh, the superintendent has already told me. Beautiful. And you see, this time there mustn't be room for misunderstanding or distrust. It's in black and white. You see. Okay. Let me open it for him. The letter is in recognition of the tremendous contribution to the work of the hospital. You understand? No rush. Take your time and think about it.
is here to speak to us. Everyone is free to speak for himself or herself. I take it that everyone is here. I have something very important to say to you all. It appears there is some misunderstanding about your city. The truth is, when you decided to move here, it meant that you were to take care of yourselves in every way. That was the consequence of your decision. When a man asks for the head of a turtle and the legs of a turtle, what does he really want? The whole turtle time. You all have seen how hard your new life can be. And we have started getting some complaints that some of you have started roaming the market and streets. That is bad and we can't let it go on any much longer. What I'm here is to offer you all one last chance. We'll give you money, every one of you. Then we'll bring lorries that will take you safely back to your villages. <coughs> is that bad? <coughs> uh, what about the hospitals and the government? Um, as soon as that is ready, we'll welcome you all back. When will it be ready? Um, we think, yeah, quite likely by the middle, middle of next year. <laughs> um, since there are no more questions, our advice is get your things together. By 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, the lorries will be here to take you safely back to your villages and the paymasters will do their part. Thank you very much and God bless you. Um, that is not all, sir. I beg your pardon. Again, we seem to be taking things. Too many things for granted. We have spoken. We have heard you. We ask questions. You answer them. We are silent and you're departing. Without doubt, you feel our silence clearly means what you think. We'll explain what our silence means and then we'll ask the people if it is so. Each one tells one. Our silence means. We shall remain here. Our silence means we shall continue to sleep for months. Eat grass if we have to. Drink air. Remain friends to the cemetery. Until we are certain, certain that there is land in the Swapali upon which the hospital shall stand. Have I spoken your heart? Yes. yes! And after that, we will know what to do to ourselves. If the government needs people to clear the bushes in the side, speed things up. Some of us have fingers, and those without fingers can lift buckets and carry blocks. Have I spoken your heart? Yes! yes. When we do leave this place, where shall it be? Uswakoli! Yeah. Uswakoli!